Holy smokes guys, the M4 iPad Pro benchmarks have finally leaked and this is absolutely insane guys. In this video, I'm gonna share the CPU benchmarks the GPU benchmarks, and I'm gonna tell you why this is such a big deal and why the M4 chip is faster than anybody expected and so much faster than the M3 chip in the span of only seven months since that one was released. What the heck happened? Well, I have the answer in this video, but first, let's go through these leaked Benchmarks. Here we are in Geekbench 6. We just had this leak pop up and take a look at this. 3,767 points in single core. That right there is officially the world's fastest consumer chip in terms of single core performance and I can prove it. Take a look at my X account here. I just shared it and you can see that the best chip is actually from Intel in terms of single core, scoring under 3,300 single core points. That's the i9-14900KF, and you can see right here are all of the charts with the median scores. Basically, Intel's i9s are the best, even faster than AMD's chips in terms of single core, but looking at the iPad with the M4 chip, 3,700. And how does it do it? Well, we can look right here. It's clocked at around 4.4 gigahertz. The previous M3s were 4.1. And how exactly does it compare to the M3 chip? Well, you can see right here that the M3 scored about 3,000 87, so the new M4 is 22% faster in terms of single core. That right there is a huge IPC improvement. And how do I know that? Well, because the new M4 is clocked at 4.4 gigahertz divided by 4.05, which is the M3's clock speed, that's about 8.6% faster in terms of clock speed, but we're somehow getting 22% faster single core performance. That's all brand new IPC improvements, and I'll explain how Apple is doing this in just a minute, but we have to take a look at multi-core because we have 14,677 multi-core points. Yes, that is the four performance core cluster. That's the 10 core version of the M4 chip. And compared to the M3 with 11,702 points, the M4 chip is 25% faster. Well, part of that is because of the additional two efficiency cores, but that is a really, really nice improvement. And I do wanna point out that Apple said it was 50% faster than the M2, so what I did in the previous video a couple days ago was that I estimated the performance of the M4 chip at 14,952 based on that 50% improvement, and look here, I was actually really close, just about 275 points off from the score that we got today. But the best part about this multi-core performance is that this base M4 chip within the super thin iPad Pro is actually faster than the 11 core base M3 Pro chip in the $2,000 14 inch MacBook Pro. But first, I wanna show you guys my favorite new smart ring from our sponsor, RingCon, which tracks all of my health metrics in real time, including heart rate, stress, steps, activity, oxygen saturation, sleep, and much more. And it just got updated with the new family and friends sharing feature, so my wife and I can both track each other's activity metrics. And best of all, they're currently running a Mother's Day sales event with $42 off until May 12th, so order one today using the link below with discount code MAXTECH15 for an additional $15 off. So looking at the charts right here, you can see the M3 Pro with the base 11 CPU core configuration, 14,016 points. Yes, that means that the new M4 is faster than that machine. And guess what? It's faster than the full 12 core M2 Pro. It's faster than the M2 Max chip from only a couple of years ago, which scored 14.533. And it's 
almost as fast as that same M2 Max in the Mac Studio, which is a little bit faster. And take a look here, the full-on 12-core M3 Pro that just came out like seven months ago, it's almost as fast as that as well. That is shocking. But let's not stop there because we actually had GPU performance leak as well. Take a look here. We have the new score, 53,792 points from the 10 core GPU in the M4 chip. How does that compare to the M3? Well, the M3 scored 47,240 points. So the 10 core M4 is 13.5% faster than the 10 core M3, which means that finally, Finally, after a few years, we get a really nice per core improvement. Take a look at these numbers right here on my X account. The M4 scores 5,379 points per core. The M3 scored 4,700 per core. The M2, 4,573 per core, which means there really wasn't a big improvement with the M3, just a little clock speed boost. And the M1, 4,026. So out of all four of those chips, the M4 actually gained the most compared to the previous chip, which means that Apple has been cooking something special for this M4 chip. And apart from all of those crazy benchmark leaks that show that the M4 chip is much faster than anybody expected, we now have official confirmation that Apple has finally reversed their Apple Silicon strategy, which means that instead of making their new core architecture for the Apple iPhone chips first, they are now releasing it in the M chip first, starting with the M4, which means the M4 has a brand new complete overhaul in terms of the core architecture using TSMC's N3 E process node, which makes sense because the iPad Pro and their Macs have low volume in terms of sales. So it makes sense if you have issues with yield to release the brand new architecture with low volume products first, get a little bit of experience, and then bring those new cores over to the new iPhone chips, which means that the iPhone 16 Pro and the 16 are gonna have the A18 and A18 Pro chips using these brand new cores from the M4 chip fully overhauled, which is a really, really big deal. Now, the last question I wanna answer is, why and how are these M4 chips so much faster than the M3 after only seven months? Well, here is my theory. My theory is that the M3 chip didn't really get an overhauled CPU. I believe that Apple really wanted to rush out a three nanometer chip and be the first in the world to do that. So what they did is they used generally the old core designs. They adapted them, modified them, tweaked them, and made it work with the new three nanometer chip nodes with N3B. And they just upped the clock speed and they saved the brand new core architecture for the M4 chip. So that is why we're getting such a huge difference, finally, in terms of IPC gains and per core score improvements. So basically, the M4 chip is the chip that we have been waiting for since the M1. We finally get a massive upgrade and it is here. The only question left to answer is, What's gonna happen with the M4 Max and are we gonna see them at WWDC? Well, I'm gonna answer that question in another video. So click that button above to subscribe. Definitely check out some of those other M4 iPad Pro videos that we just made with a lot of info. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.